Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Today I will be preparing this delicious flat bread recipe step by step. So if you would like to know how to prepare it, join me in the kitchen. If you haven't subscribed as yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. So thank you so much for joining me today and let's bake. First step in this is I'm going to go ahead and add my bread flour. And I went ahead and sift my flour. Sifting your flour makes, you know, you get rid of any excess lumps and stuff like that. And I sifted, when I sifted this bread flour, I sifted three cups. You see, I have extra. After I sifted it, the flour becomes lighter and, you know, you have more flour than what you need. So I sifted three cups and I already put in three cups in the mixer and I have all this left, about a half a cup more or so left. So, you know, this is why when you're baking, you want to sift your flour and then measure it out because you have, you get the accurate measurement there. Um, you know, I am using bread flour for this because bread flour contains more protein. And when you're baking like baked goods, like breads and rolls and stuff like that, you need that gluten, you know, you need that gluten and it does when it have more protein in it it does give the baked goods you know that body and structure that you're looking for whereas um you know the big difference between all-purpose flour and the bread flour is the protein amount of protein bread flour have more protein in it like a few percent more protein than regular all-purpose flour so I love to use um, bread flour when I'm baking like, you know, breads and rolls and stuff like that, but it's not necessary, okay? It's not necessary. I can use I all purpose flour here, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my brown sugar, my yeast, and I'm gonna quickly give this a good mix. Mix it all up, combine it. We have our sugar, our yeast, and our flour, you know, all incorporate, mixed in nice. I'm going to go in with my salt. And do bear in mind, everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. And, you know, I just use a whisk here to make sure everything is nice and combine, mix it all in. And now I'm going to go in with my room temperature butter. It's so soft with me butter. And I'm going to mix that in. Make sure it's, you know, incorporate well before I start add my milk. Or you can use water here. Your preference. I like the milk because for me, it makes the bread more rich. But, you know, I can water here too, okay? So to make your bread, you can use your stand mixer if you have one. Or you can go ahead and knead this by hand. You would just incorporate all your ingredients and just knead it by hand. Now I'm going to go ahead and proceed to gradually add our lukewarm milk here. And bear in mind, depending on where you live, you know, um, you might need more milk or less milk. So that's why I said to gradually add it. I'm going to put in the description box below the amount I use to bring this together. So gradually add your water or your milk here. So now that I have all my milk added here, I'm going to let this knead or mix for about eight to ten minutes you want to knead this well you want it to knead it until it's nice and smooth okay so that's the consistency you're looking for so i'm gonna let this do its thing and then i'm gonna come back and let you see what you're looking for so it's almost there we have a minute more or so but this is what it's looking like as you can see it's rolling up into a nice ball it's pulling away from the side of the mixer and it's nice and smooth i'm gonna transfer this to my surface smooth it out and then we're gonna begin to the poofing process so i went ahead and transferred this bad boy to my surface i don't have to knead it or anything of the sort too much because remember the mixer did that for us but i want you guys to see how nice and smooth this is and it's so soft and it's not sticking to my surface so that's a great indication that it's kneaded well what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to just bring it into a nice ball, a nice round smooth ball. And probably I'll just rest it right here on top of my counter and cover it and let it poof for about, you know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour or so. About an hour, I would say. But one of the most precious memories for me growing up 
is my mom always preparing baked goodies during the holiday like nothing screams holiday like baking cakes and bread and preparing pepper pot and make some you know well we don't eat pork so we would do garlic beef and stuff like that and i do have a recipe on the channel for garlic beef so i'll I, you know i can put it in the description below so you guys can get access to all these amazing recipes and you know a lot of time i have questions from people be like hey you're muslim but you know hindu holidays you prepare all these things christian you know holidays you so this is how i grew up like we were never um told that you cannot celebrate another religion um holiday or culture like we used to go to christian church their sunday school you know my dad and mom exposed us to everything and my mom is like her love for food i think she transferred all that genes to me like um she loved to cook and prepare all holidays like she would cook and prepare a feast for us so i'm accustomed to do this so this is not like oh i gotta look for um recipes to post and how to do certain things like the knowledge that i gain from my mom you know passing on all these things i'm so grateful for it so this is why i enjoy doing all these things and nothing screams christmas like some nice homemade plat bread on pepper pot i y'all know that is the fix right so um i'm gonna set my timer i'm gonna just take the mixer and the mixer bowl and cover this down um you can use a tea towel but this covers it pretty secure and we're gonna come back in an hour time and check on this bad boy moment of truth one hours later what yep nice and poofy so you know yours can poof up more than this depending on the temperature and the weather you live in so what we're gonna go ahead and do i'm just gonna knead this up pick it all up Mm, the smell in the kitchen is beautiful so i'm gonna portion this out try to do three even portion size and then you take out a little extra piece this extra piece is to go on top so you want to get it all nice same size if you want to drop it on a kitchen scale to make sure that it's even you can go ahead and do that if you're not like you know 100 percent sure You can feel it. You can tell from it. This one feels smaller. So we're going to go ahead and roll this out into three long logs. Logs? Log? Log? <laughs> Justin, how do you say? Log? Yeah. Log. <laughs> God. We're gonna roll it out, you know, to form your plat or your braids. I like to get it like nice and smooth. Sometimes it's not nice and smooth. Like the thing itself, it has like a little cracky to it. I know me and me, a little perfectionist side. So, um, let's try to make it smooth, but it is what it is. If it's not smooth, it's not smooth. Now that I have my three logs, I'm gonna start by braiding from the top coming down. Some people do it in the middle. Listen, whichever way you feel comfortable doing this, just do your braid, you know. Don't make me tell you how to do it. So you're just crisscrossing. Like if you're braiding here, that's how you're doing it. And when you get to the end, you grab all three of it and you tuck it under like so and then i'm gonna finish up this end hey be smooth mm. and you want to braid it you know as tight as you can get it get to the end same thing you tuck it for somebody who get long here all shall life i should have been a perfection with my braid and my daughter get long here but look me and my braid now it looks so here i have my pan lined with parchment paper and you know flatbread got to get 
that little thingy on top that little piece of thing string on top and you just take it and you tuck it at the bottom of it and you cover this with cling wrap or you can cover it with a tea towel and let it rise for about 45 minutes and then we're gonna bake it off so there have a flat bread have a flat bread ready okay almost ready there you go Shatama. so it's been exactly 45 minutes let's take a peek and that's how she looks so i went ahead and preheat my oven 350 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna go ahead pop this in and bake it off anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes and we should have some beautiful delicious flat bread 20 minutes later and we have this beautiful beautiful bread out of the oven what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna go ahead and glaze it with some butter yeah i have the butter the stick butter that i'm glazing it with you want to glaze it all over and this is the hot bread is gonna melt this butter down nicely or you can use softened butter use a um you know a brush and getting into all the nooks and crook, you know the cranny pieces and all that you get in there but this does a job well so i'm gonna let this cool down before i cut into it but well, my kitchen is smelling insanely delicious we have our bread mouth here let me tell you if it's one people that buy like one set of people that buy a whole set of bread in them house it's us everybody in here love a bread and she can't wait for digging and sampling for you guys to see but let's show them what the bread is looking like inside look at that look how sharp and moist it is break into it break into it wow yummy okay go butter it up because we know you want butter it up she love butter and bread like every evening that's what she have butter and bread should have made this earlier so i can steal all of it i know you're gonna eat all of it okay go in dig in no, I'll just put it there. Who cares? It's bread. Man, we just need some pepper pot. <laughs> uh, how is it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is this thing right here. It's so soft, fluffy, moist. Mmm. A delicious blight. You're making me drool, Atiana. Look at that. Look how soft and fluffy. Mmm. I can't resist it. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly baked. So there you have it, guys. Our delicious flat bread recipe. And this goes great with some awesome pepper pot. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And leave your comments and thoughts in the video below. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Love you all. Take care. Stay blessed. Happy holidays. Mwah, mwah.